Hello there. Today's video is on JavaScript, how to do an if-else statement. So here's a blank page, here's some HTML. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with a uh, script tag. And a slash script. And it's not really necessary, but I like to still put the type. And in there we're going to do a doc write. C colon. Oh, we're going to do a uh, window dot inner width. Save that. Refresh. Tells me my screen. My window is 854 pixels wide. Um, that's going to be important. Um, so let's go ahead up to the head and do a script there. And uh, type equals text slash JavaScript. Close the script tag. Oh, why have I got that there? Let's try that again. All right. And we're going to do a uh, document dot write parentheses, curly braces, and a couple of quotes. Now, at this point, I'm actually going to do a um, CSS. Now, don't type it exactly the way I do it. It's hard for me to read it otherwise. Um, so we're going to do a style. You can type it the way I'm typing it, but you're going to have to fix it later. So, a uh, style of um, body, curly brace, background of um, pound FF0000. Now, semicolon. Save that, refresh. Doesn't really work because JavaScript doesn't like to have the string on multiple lines. So, that's what I mean by you're not going to be able to do it the way I type it. Because as soon as you put it on one line, bam, it works. Okay, so um, now that we've figured that out, let's do an if else statement. So, uh, if and then parentheses and then curly brace and that's the uh, that's the basic format of an if else statement uh, so you're gonna do uh, window dot inner width and then you can do less than or equals or greater than or equals or just double equals you have to do the double equals remember that uh, you can just do less than or you can do greater than I'm going to do less than 800. And then at that point, I'm going to say if it is less than 800, then we're going to write, we're going to make the background red. Save that, refresh. It is 854. So let's make it less than 800. Refresh the page. There we go. 552. Okay, so what else is available? Well, there's an else, um, and the same idea. Well, else, basically anything else, winds up getting um, let's say everything else gets a green. So refresh. There's red. Now full screen it. There's a green. You can also do an else if. And the same format, you have to do the parentheses, else if window dot inner width is uh, less than, say, 500. So now refresh. It is, so what it's going to do is it's going to say, fine, if it's less than 800, then uh, make it this color. If it's less than 500, then make it this color. So we got 854. Let's uh, reduce it down. 552. Now let's reduce it down even more so it gets below 500. 357. But it's still red. So that's a problem. And the reason why that's a problem is because once it hits the 352, it goes, oh yeah, well that's less than 800. That's all I needed, right? It works. So 
we're going to quit looking for stuff. So the idea is you need to arrange your uh, statements accordingly. So we'll do 500 and 800. So we'll save that. Oh, yeah, I had 800 there. Okay, we'll save that. Refresh. So it's red, which is what it would be, because it says red right there. Uh, let's make it a little larger. So we can get it above 500. Now it's green. And then we can also put uh, another else if and another else if. But you need to figure out how to position your uh, statements so that you don't, you know, fire off early. Uh, let's, so let's do an else and a curly brace and paste that guy in there. And we're going to go with uh, blue. Wait, already blue. So there's the green. Now let's full screen it. It'll be above 800. And there's the blue. So that's how you write an if else statement. The uh, the basic format is uh, if, and then you do parentheses. You know x is less than you know some number. Curly brace. Do that. Um, let's space this out. else if and then you need another couple parentheses to do another conditional curly brace and then else and then whatever it does if none of those guys are met and you can do just an if uh, you can do an if with an if else you can do an if with just an else um, but you can't just do an else if and you can't just do an else obviously and remember uh, the one thing that always catches me is you always have to do the double equals. You can't just do a single equals. But that's how you make an if-else statement in JavaScript. Hopefully you've learned something, and you'll get to use this in the future. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?